Excuse me. What? Ah, Algeria. Hmm. What do we do now? Let's find Omar Al Jabbar. Hello there. Ah, a prosperous American. You ever hear of Atlantis, old man? Atlantis. Hmm, Atlantis. Hmm. No. Do you know where to find Omar Al Jabbar? Omar is one of my best customers. His shop is on the other side of the marketplace. What are you doing here on the streets? I'm a beggar, Effendi. It is my job to be here. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. Now, let me get back to work, please. I don't want to disturb them. They look kind of busy. Excuse me. Yes? Do you know where to find Omar Al Jabbar? He has a shop nearby behind the marketplace. Nice knives. Yes, they were a gift from my father, the greatest knife thrower in North Africa. I'm trying to follow his example. But alas, no one will volunteer to be my assistant since the accident. Sorry to bother you. No bother. I just wish a volunteer would step forward to assist me. Excuse me. Yes? Do you know where to find Omar Al Jabbar? Omar, his pitiful excuse for a shop is down the alley here. What looks good today? Today we have a special squab on a stick, only 20 dinars. Do you accept U.S. currency? Sorry, no. Well, a squab would sure hit the spot. 20 dinars, if any. Maybe we can make a deal. What kind of deal? I'll give you my fine leather jacket for a squab. In this heat, don't be absurd. Don't go away. I'll get back to you. Funny. Looks like that ghost we saw in your study. That ghost was Nurab Sal. This thing is spooky. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Effendi? Are you Mr. Omar Al Jabbar? I am but a humble shopkeeper. My name is unimportant. Do you ever deal in antiquities from Atlantis? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Many a fool dreams of the Lost Kingdom. How may I know your intentions are serious? I've got a PhD. Will that do? <laughs> you have quite a sense of humor, I see. Pots. Big pots. It says, drink Elliot's rose water in Arabic. It all looks pretty worthless.
wait one minute. So you think you can just stroll out of here without paying? Well, how much does it cost? That mask? On second thought, you can have it. It's been scaring away all my best customers. Listen. What? Do you have any dinars? No. I think you should volunteer to help the knife thrower. No, you don't, Jones. Do it and I'll let you wear my hat. I'll let you wear my fist if you keep this up. Come on, assist the guy, will you? Nope, nope, nope. Think about the effect on international relations. I'm thinking about the effect on my health. The man's desperate. He needs your help. Is this your idea of a friendly nudge? Please, it's perfectly safe. You never give up, do you? I just think you should learn something about the local culture, up close. You call this cultural? Gee, knives make me nervous. Oof! Look here, ladies and gentlemen. A volunteer. But... Now, now, my dear, there's nothing to be afraid of. But... Just walk over to the board now. Mm. Ta-da! Thank you for your brave assistance, my dear. Allow me to express my gratitude by giving you this souvenir knife. Here, take this knife before I use it on you. It's a sharp, blood-stained knife. Excuse me. Sorry, Effendi. One act a day is all my nerves can take. Hello there. If you have ticket, you see sights. If not, you don't. Well, here we are. I had no idea Monte Carlo was the lost city. Don't start with me, Indy. It's Trottier we're after. Well, what does Trottier look like? How should I know? I've never actually met him. We did all our business by mail. What makes you think we'll find Trottier here? All his letters mention how much he likes strolling under the bright lights. Suppose Trottier shows up. What then? Bring him up to my room. This plan sounds kind of harebrained to me. Don't worry, it'll work.
He used to have one of the three stones. If we can coax him into a seance, he might let us have it. A seance? I'll go get ready. Hey there. Are you Alan Frottier? No, I'm not. Excuse me. Are you Alan Frottier? Oh, perhaps. Who's asking? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, 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 I believe I've heard of you. Yes, of course, the famous archaeologist. Actually, I'm just a simple professor. Oh, leave the modesty to me, sir, Alain Trottier. Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional dreamer. The tarot revealed to me a three of cups, which drove me outside for some air. And here I bump into you. Ah, what good fortune. Madam Sophia's in town and wants to meet you. Really? The great psychic? Oh, no wonder I felt restless tonight. Still, one must be cautious. I fear that German agents are on my trail. To prove you are not one of them, answer me this. What was a Plato's great error? An error of geometry. Oh, no, 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 you're just guessing. Uh, bonsoir, monsieur. Just a moment, monsieur. Back again, Dr. Jones. What now? Madam Sophia's in town and wants to meet you. Really? The great psychic? Oh, no wonder I felt restless tonight. Still, one must be cautious. I fear that German agents are on my trail. To prove you are not one of them, answer me this. Why did the Atlanteans build their huge colossus? To make themselves like gods. Yes, excellent. Obviously, you know Plato's lost dialogue well. How can I help you? Follow me and Madame Sophia will read your fortune. Oh, this is a big step. I am not sure. Come on, take a chance. She's right here in the hotel. Well, I do need to know the truth. Is Atlantis real or a mere myth? So I'll do it. Please, lead the way. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. Is he here? Keep him busy. I'm going to try something. All right, then. Give me a minute while I set him up. Oh, Monsieur Trottier, I am so pleased to meet such an expert antiquarian at long last. Madame flatters me. It is I who am pleased to meet you. Now then, I need a token of power to set the mood. Well, I have the stone key. I truly believe it is from the lost city. Very good. Very good indeed. Now we can begin. We must find my spirit guide. Leave no stone unturned. It's a fuse box. It's the main power switch for the room. The lights, what happened to the lights? Uh, I think Nurab Sal is trying to signal us. There must be a sheet under here.
Oh, I feel the presence of Nirab Sal approaching us. Ooh. Aye. Well done, Indy. Looks like we have one of the three stones. Let's hope we can find a way to use it. I'll bet Trottier got it from Al Jabbar. Those two do a lot of business together. Let's head for North Africa and find out if I'm right. Fine, I'll hail a cab while you get changed. It's a stone disc with solar images carved into it. Listen. I still think you should have let me divine his secret. Let's head for North Africa. Fine, I'll hail a cab while you get changed. I better put the flashlight back. I'd better put the sheet back. Wait for me! Excuse me again. Yes? I'm really interested in Atlantis. And I really need some reason to take you seriously. I've got this stone. Stone, you say? Let's see it. Here it is. Take a look. Ah. It is said that three stone discs were needed to open the gates of Atlantis. This looks like one of them. A sunstone, if I'm not mistaken. Dr. Jones. How do you know who I am? Yeah, how? My dear Miss Hapgood, when you're Omar Al-Jabbar, you know these things. Then you are Al-Jabbar. Yes, a lowly dealer in oddities and trinkets at your service. Let's get down to business, shall we? What do you know about Atlantis? Yes, tell us. Well, somewhere deep in the Atlas Mountains, there's an archaeological dig site. I'm convinced it contains the remains of an Atlantean outpost. Whose dig is it? Europeans. Germans, I believe. What makes you so sure it's Atlantean? From time to time, scoundrels appear in my shop to trade pieces they stole there. The designs are unmistakable. Where is it exactly? I'm not exactly sure. I've learned enough to make a rough map, but it's very rough. The problem is, the desert is no place for a civilized man like myself. We'll go. We will? I admire your courage, but you'll never survive the desert. Give up while you still have your lives ahead of you. We'll never give up. Well then, let it be as God wills it. Come, I'll lend you my map. And a couple of sturdy camels.
You've returned alive. Tell me, how was your trip? Okay, except our camels died a mile out of town. A terrible shame. Those were my last two camels. Perhaps I can make amends in some small way. Do you still have that mask I gave you? Yeah, I've got it right here. Why do you ask? I'd like to trade you for it. What will you give me? That depends. Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. Well, how about... This baseball, it's been autographed by your country's Lou Gehrig. Well, that doesn't appeal to me. What else have you got? How about this voodoo doll? It was cut from trees in the Black Forest. Well, that doesn't appeal to me. What else have you got? How about this little red wagon? It once belonged to Rudyard Kipling. That's not quite what I want. What else have you got? How about this yellow yo-yo? It was hand-painted by an Arabian princess. No, thanks. Can I see something else? How about this beautiful white cane? It was once touched by Queen Victoria. Well, that doesn't appeal to me. What else have you got? How about these charming shaded spectacles? With these, a man can stare straight at the sun. I'll take them. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. Squab for these spectacles, even Stephen. Mm hmm. I'm afraid I cannot make that trade, Effendi. But it does remind me to get a gift for my aging grandfather. Hold the squad. I'll be back later. Certainly, Effendi. Excuse me again. Yes? Can I trade my spectacles for something else? Do you have anything in mind? Something nice for an older gentleman? Anything else? Make an offer. Well, how about this handsome red fez? No gentleman should be seen without one. No, thanks. Can I see something else? How about... This antique brass spittoon, with it a man may spit like a camel in the privacy of his own home. That sounds pretty awful. Have you got anything else? How about this beautiful white cane? It was once touched by Queen Victoria. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. Will you trade a squab for this finely crafted cane? Hmm. Hmm. 
My grandfather will love this gift. And it's so color coordinated. Here, have a squab. Thank you. Squab, huh? <laughs> Looks like a barbecued pigeon. Listen. What? Never mind. Okay. I'd rather not. It doesn't look very appetizing. Hello there. Back again, eh? How's business? I've seen worse. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. Now, let me get back to work, please. Excuse me. You bring food? Here. Thank you, Effendi. Here's your free gift. It says one day pass Kareem sightseeing tours. Hello there. If you have ticket, you see sights. If not, you don't. I don't think that'll work. Will this do? A valuable all-day pass. Today the skies are yours, Effendi. Looks like it's ready to go. We're free! Must be an updraft here. Aren't you coming? I'll stay here and watch the balloon. She's too far away.
Must be an updraft here. Stay here and guard the balloon. Hello there. Salam, Effendi. What do you make of this map? Hmm. This X is to the south. And far to the west. Thanks for the information. Hello again. Salam again. Have you seen anyone digging around here? Well, I have seen foreigners with trucks and equipment. Trucks? Equipment? Where? It's hard to remember. The desert all looks the same, you know? Tell me about the foreigners again. I have seen them. Can you imagine? They're digging holes in the sand. Were they Nazis, do you think? They had pale faces like you, Effendi. Nice talking to you. Go with God, Effendi. Hmm, the only mark on this map is one big X. Stay here and guard the balloon. Stay here and guard the balloon. Hello there. Salam, Effendi. Have you seen anyone digging around here? Well, I have seen foreigners with trucks and equipment. Trucks? Equipment? Where? It's hard to remember. The desert all looks the same, you know? What do you make of this map? Hmm. You are very close to the site. This X is slightly to the north. And 
slightly to the east. Thanks for the information. I've seen better landings. Him too. Listen. What? Kind of barren and lifeless out there, huh? I don't know. The rocks look like they're enjoying themselves. What do we do now? We could try to patch up our bullet-ridden balloon, or we could hike to that dig site on the left. Look what we found. An abandoned dig site. Wait, where are you going? I sense the presence of Nurab Sal. I should have guessed. Indy! Hold on, Sophia. Indy! Sophia! Uh-oh.